I think the days are gone where the guys say, you know, honey, I'm going over to Jeff's house to go play cards. Now it's, honey, I'm headed over to Jeff's house to go play Halo. <laughs> Multiplayer is a little different because it's more like a sport and that you're, you know, yes, the game is there, but it's basically helping you compete against your friends. <laughs> you essentially get the rage against each other in this crazy combat world. It's always fresh. Your opponents are always new and they are always adapting. Super addictive. We played it every single night for one year. We actually kind of went out on a limb with Halo 2. We've designed each one of our multiplayer maps so they fit within the single player settings. Um, so you could look at any of our maps and you could say, wait, I, I know that location. Probably the most popular team game types is Capture the Flag. We're on almost every Halo 1 map. We had two bases that were pretty identical. And at the beginning of Halo 2, we were trying to think of different ways where we can make our maps more asymmetrical. It's fun to play as the attacker, and then it's fun to play as the defender. You can never completely defend the base. Maybe there's two guys defending, but there's three ways in. You're always having to make these choices. So the attackers start on the beach, and we give the attacker a warthog and two ghosts. And then we don't give the defender anything except the rocket launcher and the beach is separated from the main complex by this seawall, so it gives the attackers a home, and then the defenders also have their base, which is their home. And then the vehicles have to come in through this one gate. And the rocket launcher guy usually likes to get into position to attack that gate. The HUD is the heads-up display. Let's say I'm in a firefight and I'm firing my weapon, and if I'm taking damage, the indicator turns red, so I can instantly see if my teammates are in trouble. And if one of them was to die, my friend there is dead. He shows up with a big red X over his head. Now, there's been many times I've been in a game, and I'll be following my buddies right into go get the flag, and then all of a sudden, I'll see all these red Xs appear on my screen. I'll go, you know, maybe now is not a good time to run through that door. Everybody likes to go to their buddy's house and, you know, order pizza and get something to drink and wipe the Cheetos off your hands and jabbing each other and calling them names. What we wanted to do was take that whole situation and bring it to Xbox Live. And so we tried to create what we called a virtual couch. We tried something completely new, which is this party system, where you and your friends kind of combine together online and you can jump from game to game to game to game and you and your friends will always be together. You suck, man. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. It was really amazing to get online for the first time when there were a bunch of people online and just press the button that said, I want to play, go find me some other people that want to play and choose a game type that's pretty cool and just stick me in it as fast as you can. And to have that process happen in like five seconds was really, was really incredible. Guy in our base, go up rocket man. Right fail, man. Find someone. <laughs> Proximity voice. You can get close to somebody in a game and talk to them, and only that person can hear you. <laughs> nice grenade toss, though. Proximity voice is going to make us gods. There's nothing like running up to somebody and killing them with the energy sword, and then two minutes later they kill you, and then they're standing over your body saying, Eat it! How did you like that? See, this is my sword! One, two. You're just an anonymous nobody unless we build ways for you to create an identity for yourself there. We allow them to customize their color, their player emblem, so that when they go online, I'm the little red smiley face. And so if people see my red smiley face and they go, hey, I remember that guy. My clan is a group of guys that form a team. And we may practice. We may uh, join one of these matchmaking playlists. It's hard to play with people that are lower skill level than you, even if you really like them, because you're probably going to lose more often, and you're not going to have as much fun. If I play with Chris, the two of us are ranked together as a, as a team, and if he's not as good as me, then that's going to take down your rank. The point is, Chris sucks. Flag drop. Oh, my God! Oh, I died, because Carney was no good.
One of the cool things we're working on is integrating the live functionality of the game with the, the website, and we're kind of going to be a, a starting point for your, your Halo 2 bragging rights. Other really cool things about map analysis or statistics on kills and weapons killed with that we may or may not get to, depending on how tired I get between now and September. If we do this right, if we are able to really pull off the engine and Xbox Live and the social community, it, it's going to destroy everything else that's out there. There is something somewhat magic. It's like being an athlete in a sporting event. Nice, nice, nice. The rush that you get when you're about to win and your heart starts going boom, 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 boom. Sniper, sniper! Oh, no. You know you're going to just almost get it to score and then somebody snipes you from the corner God! and you jump up and scream and throw your controller down and you hate it but you love it and you gotta play again.